Hey guys, it's your girl Maya. So, <clears throat> you read the title, so you kind of have an idea of what this is going to be about. Um, but it's quite horrifying. Um, it disgusted me, and I had to do something about it. So, let's just start from the beginning. Um, today at work, um, I was um, running things, which means that I'm stocking items. Um, and sorry <laughs> and um, I was going back to the warehouse with my three-tier cart uh, because I was done um, and on the way I had these ladies come up to me and they just happened to be black um, which means nothing to me it just they're people and they asked me where the lamps were so I showed them um, where to go and went on my way pushing the cart back to the warehouse and I got back to the warehouse and the manager on duty was back there and I usually don't have to deal with her which is great because she's a terrible person and you will see why. Um, we were just back there and she looks back and like um, our doors for the warehouse have like big windows and she was looking directly at those two women and she said they're stealing. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't say anything. I just pretty, I probably made that face that I just made. And yeah, she walked out of the um, warehouse and then I did. You know, with another cart so I could go um, stock some more stuff. And I did see those women and I thought about going up to them and telling them what happened but I was like, you know, maybe it's not my place, maybe I shouldn't do it, but I was wrestling with it the whole time. And then I got called up to the front to do cashier and I just happened to get them in my line or on at my cash register and um, <clears throat> sweetest ladies ever, like seriously, like it was probably a mother and her daughter and um, the fact that they came to my register, that was kind of a sign to me that, you know, I needed to say something, I needed to speak up, so I did. And uh, it was while I was handing the uh, older woman the receipt, and I was like, I'm, I'm sorry, I have to tell you this, but my supervisor made a remark about you two stealing, and like, the look on the woman's face broke my heart and I said um, you need to call corporate and I gave her my supervisor's name and uh, you know she was asking me when did she say this I was like today she said it to me only to me um, wrong person <laughs> to say it to so um, yeah like I felt really good about it um, that I told them um, but it also, I didn't want to have to, like, tell those people that they were being racially profiled. That was just too much for me. <laughs> but I had to do it because it just, it was wrong. It was so, so many, so much wrong. I mean, there was no indication that they were stealing and she just said it as a remark she didn't say it because she really thought they were because if she really thought they were she would have gone and followed them but she didn't so it just it bugged me all day until i finally got to see them and tell them and it really did like i said it and i said i'm so sorry she's a racist and it was tough. It was really hard for me to do. Um, but I had to do it. I had to. Um, I feel good that I did it. I just didn't want those women to have to deal with that because I know they probably deal with racism on a daily basis. But it was something that needed to be reported and I myself might call corporate and report it as well just to make sure that it gets to someone because that was unacceptable 100% um, I don't I mm -mm, no <laughs> she said the wrong thing to the wrong person and yeah I really
hope that she really gets something for what she did because just saying those words that was unacceptable it made me sick to my stomach it ugh, it disgusted me um it was horrifying that people even act that way still and yeah so i had to stand up and i had to do it and yeah i guess that's just the story i wanted to tell today because it just it really bugged me a lot um but yeah i'll see you guys in the next video dicey matane bye and stay kind to people please